hey what's going on guys welcome back to the channel hope you are having a fantastic day so this is a request video from paul he said he wants to use cocoa parts and spn in a single product so i'm going to show you how you can do that let's get started all right go ahead and open up xcode and create a new single view application All right, now we have our project created. So let me open Safari and show you the libraries that we are going to use. So we're going to use dynamic color and we're going to use SD web image. I'm going to install this dynamic color with Cocoa Pads and, and I'm going to install SD web image with SPM. So let me scroll down and grab the port. So I will assume you already know how to do this, so I'm going to speed things up. So let's test the framework and see. Uh, so let's run the project. Uh, so dynamic color is working. So let's install the second library, but this time around with two package manager. So go ahead, file, package, a package dependency, and choose the name of your project it makes. Then go back to Safari. And let's grab the SD web image link. Go back to Xcode, choose next. Wait for it to finish verifying. Then hit next. Choose SD web image. So now we have good libraries installed. So let's take so let's take this SD web image. But before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and create an image view and I'm going to place it in the middle. Okay, so all I did here is created an image. I don't, I don't like using storyboard, so that's why I created this um, image view programmatically. So let me go ahead and make it appear on the screen. Let me get. Now let me position the image. So I want my image to be 
center of the screen. So I'm going to do this. So now with this, we should have our image appear in you know, the center of the screen. So let me go ahead and run the project. All right, all right, so now let's use our SD web image. So before we do anything, we should import it first. And we are going to say mapportal dot sd image now we need to get the now we need to go to safari and get a link for our image so i've already got this image so i'm going to provide all the links that i use so now i have this image of myself from the internet so i'm going to grab the link and go back to xcode and here i'm going to use it and i don't need this complete completed and I'm going to run the project now. So basically this is how you use Google Parts and Sweet Package Manager in Escort. Alright, so that's gonna wrap it up for today's lesson. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you enjoyed today's lesson, make sure to click the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.